Demolition began today for the High View home packed with dangerous chemicals and explosives. WDRV's Raina Katko explains the process to tear down the home on Applegate Lane. Raina? Yeah, as you can see, Fallon, this half of the street is closed off as they tear down that home. And so only officials with the EPA and people living off of Applegate Lane are allowed beyond this point while demolition happens. The EPA started this afternoon by removing structural parts of the home. Removed materials are going into a buried steel container, crushed and then mixed with sand to prevent any potential reactions. Crews will then dispose of it off site. After detonating explosives on site, the city originally said it would burn down the house. The EPA scratched that plan, though, instead opting to tear it down with an excavator, which the EPA says is a safer plan. And then when I heard that they were not going to do the controlled burn and uh, just start taking it down piece by piece, that uh, made me feel a little bit better. The High View home belonged to 53 year old Mark Hibble, a former chemist who was found with multiple explosives and dangerous chemicals inside. He's charged with burglary and wanton endangerment. His attorney filed a motion to block the destruction of the home, saying it will destroy materials that may be used in Hibble's defense, but a judge hasn't ruled on that motion yet. Demolition is expected to take less than a month, and the EPA has also put in place what it's calling the air monitoring network across the neighborhood, which ensures that the air is safe for residents, even if they're outside of this barricaded area. And safety is so important for everyone living in that area. All right, Raina, thank you.